All right, let's play this once through here. There's some sound. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. This is really bad. <clears throat> oh, come on. All right. So I like your new idea. I like the audio choice and everything. Um, <laughs> I like the animal. So I got a couple thoughts. Um, mainly is that you could technically start the shot here. No, 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 no. This is and then technically you would <clears throat> you just add whatever set you want. The reason why I'm saying this is because when he goes back here, it's a bit. I'll be careful that he doesn't look at the camera. So breaking that fourth wall, unless that's something that you really want to do, where. Um, you know, the specific reason for looking through the, the lens for comedy or something, but it's a bit subtle. They almost like, wait, is he looking or not looking? So be, I don't know. I personally, I don't think you need to. Um, but again, he goes back, needs to escape. It doesn't happen. The animal doesn't get it. He waits. Oh, come on. He goes, oh, come on. Again, it's to camera. But my main reaction is that he could say this to the creature. And it would still work. Or he could say it to himself, and it would still work. We don't need this. But, since you are having this, I would, I would have a bit more fun with it. Meaning, we see this. There's no... No, no, no. No, no, there's no end action. I mean, you could add potentially an action. But, again, since this is clearly, okay, we're on the set. And this is an actor pretending. What I would do is have that character in a different in a different attitude. It could be it could be whatever, like whatever you want. Like it could be um, totally bored, looking at the watch, or you know, cleaning fingernails, or whatever classic thing that you're not there. And then an action, or just doing nothing, and then then changing into this, or um, almost like Jack Nicholson style in that uh, Shining making of. I brought this up here. Let's play this. Yeah. Oh, on, I need the top view, but on, look at how he. Come on. <laughs> like that type of thing. Obviously, it's much more. <laughs> I love how how the guy here. He had to go. Whoa! Hey guys, what's going on? Anyway, he continues on there. Not that he has to be that amped up, but it's something where <clears throat> he's maybe hopping up and down and shaking his arms, just getting ready, and then gets into character. And then you do all of this, all of this, all of this, gets into character. And then here, he still tries to be in character, realizes something's wrong. But also with this, I would have the creature just, you know, take one or two steps and maybe move towards us or a bit away from us, maybe a bit more, maybe probably a bit more profile. And then... It's more him frustrated, looking up and then looking around, and not not at us. He's looking at the set, he's looking at uh, you know stagehand, at the director who might be off screen over there. So I would use that a bit more, and then oh come on, and then oh come on, because to me it would be uh, profile. You can do the big thing of he's looking at the creature, creature goes down, and then you do the big C curve reverse. Oh, oh, come on. So you kind of push those poses a bit more, or since you are having control over the audio and you're adding your own pauses, it could be more like anger. And then he gets off, uh, the thing and then stomps away or just something where we can see again, a clear break of he's trying to stay in character. He's trying to act. And now he breaks character, he's back to his own self. And this would be just a fun thing of showing the differences between this is the actor in character and this is the actor normally and now freaking out. Um, so that that's my main reaction. Because if you just keep it like this, again, we don't really need this. You could just basically do that, have this reaction, um, you know, and that's it. Uh, but that's, again, totally up to you. Um... Other than that, if you would keep it like this, again, I would just push this a bit more so it's not just this rock. Even I mean, even, it's just, even if it's just lowering the head and maybe bringing the butt a bit up and maybe one step, just a bit more life. It can still have this kind of 
not so smart demeanor, but and then go back. Um, it's almost like you could have getting ready and he thinks, oh, okay, now I can continue and gets back into character or gets back into being, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. And that was just the anticipation to go down there. And then he realizes, oh man, and this could be something where maybe, what does he say? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, could be head down, holding on to this, you know, not just to hit the creature, but like, oh, come on, or just, you know, just, I would just look for a bit of a bigger change at the end, pose-wise, so it's not just this. Seems a bit, bit little. Um, and again, I think the fun of having a character in green, green screen and us as an audience knowing that this is on a film set, I think you could push the fun of it uh, a bit more and doing uh, just a few bigger things. Um, and especially here, either way, character not in character, when he gets here, it's just weird that it just stops. I understand that potentially you want to go for a big move, big move, big move, and then contrast. But I would still probably go, pow, and then maybe a little bit of pause, and then maybe, you know, hitting the the boots in here, or maybe tapping the creature, just like one more thing of, like, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. And then it's really that big pause of, hmm, what is going on here? Those, those, to me, those would be the biggest things. If you keep everything the way it is, a bit more movement with that, have a bit more fun with the creature, um, so it's not just so still and then sitting down, and then something where he gets on there, and with one more... One more thing of come on, let's go, let's go, let's go with through either a reshuffling, getting maybe closer to this, or or sitting back up again. I don't know, something where it's a bit of a pose adjustment, and then that's it. Even though it's still make a bigger thing out of the end. Um, and it's up to you if you want to look into um into the camera. But yeah, so these are all my overall thoughts. Um from a technical point of view. Careful, these are clearly IK hands with um Everything was very translated. There's not a lot of uh, rotations, especially on this. You can see how this rotation, there's no rotation. It's basically all goes down and the wrists stay put. Then now this is just early. There's something to, to look out for later on, especially once you have this elbow movement without affecting any rotation of, of anything in the wrist is uh, an IK sign. And at this point, it's pretty broken. The top view will probably be like this, the wrist, um, just for a little thing. I don't think you want to, you want to start the shot with something like this or go, ooh, that was not quite there. So once you're you're further along, you know, going up and then maybe he has to tighten here. So so finger stuff. And I know this is not now. I'm just saying for the final product, I would just get, get some good detail stuff in the fingers there. Alrighty, that's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.